Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And today's tutorial will be on an HP DB9000 laptop computer. The specific model for this system is a Pavilion DV9260US. So, what we're going to be doing on this system today is I will be showing you guys how to upgrade the RAM. So let's begin. The tool I'm going to be using is a standard Phillips screwdriver, small screwdriver. Really can't get a good shot for you guys there, but you get the idea. Before you work on any laptop, the first thing you want to do is remove the battery. So in this case, I'm going to move the battery to the unlocked position. The battery should just pop out for you very easily. And you can remove it just like that. There's only two screws to get to the RAM the memory. And what you want to do is just unscrew those two screws. Take off, pop up, take off the panel. The screws don't fall out. They stay built into the cover. And there you go. You have RAM 1, uh, DIM A, DIM B, I, I'm not sure, I'm not looking at it. DDR2 I believe in this old model. Uh, we also have the Wi-Fi adapter plugged in here and our little system coin cell battery. We can see kind of a bit of the motherboard in the background there, but of course you can't get to it, just identifying that it's there. <laughs> exists. Okay, to remove the RAM. These little notches on the side that are keeping it currently pushed down, you want to move them outwards like this. First RAM should slide out just like that very easily. Second one's a little more difficult. If you have these chubby fingers like mine, you want to get it at an angle. It should pop up once you pull out on those little notches. And there it is. We're done. If you actually had a 64-bit operating system, I believe that this particular uh, laptop, it's an older HP, but I believe it goes to 8 gigs. And don't quote me on that. You should go to Crucial's website they have a pretty cool tool there where you can actually see how much RAM and what the max capacity is for that particular system. That's crucial.com. C R U C I A L I'm sorry. C R U C I A L dot com. Crucial.com. Check out the RAM. I know they're not paying me to, to uh to uh, talk about their website. It's just that I've always used them as a tool whenever I'm looking to upgrade the RAM. I don't necessarily always buy their RAM. Um, but I use the tool, so you know works for me. So let's pretend that we ordered new RAM already. We have the new RAM. We're going to go ahead and just plug it back in. You want to line up the notches there. Oh, I dropped the RAM in there. Oops, my mistake. You want to be slow with it. There we go. Snaps back into place. Very easy. I'm going to go ahead and put the panel back on now. These little guys are going to latch on right here. There we go. We should just be able to screw it back in place. So if your RAM was bad on an HP DB9000, if you wanted to upgrade the RAM, replace the RAM, do anything related to the memory of the, the, the RAM in this system, you can very easily do that by just removing these two screws. You'll see the RAM component there. Uh, remove both sticks. You can upgrade it. Very simple, guys. Again, check out Crucial's website. They have a pretty cool tool where you can see the max capacity on any system, pretty much. Uh, I've used it. I've used it for several computers. Um, but again, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. We're on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. We're also on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. And check out our website for any free, uh, more some more videos, free downloads, tutorials, anything else you think you can find of use on there. Our website is www.itconflict.com. Again, my name is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks again for watching, guys.